You're listening to I-95, Bangor's classic rock station with Jay Stu and Corey in the morning. Jay Stu and Corey rock. On Bangor's classic rock station. Here we are on uh, day whatever. I still don't have power. I don't think I'm going to have power. I'm definitely going to run out of propane here pretty soon. And so. nothing's open, and that's the other thing. Like all, the, like you said, the gas stations and stuff. A lot of them. Oh, lot of them it is. Closed. It is way better than it was. Like I looked at Versant's website this morning, and they are down. They're they're about two thirds of the way back online, uh, oh, well, compared good. to where it was a couple days ago. Like well, I, I think about, there's still like thirty five thousand customers without power. Yesterday it was, was like fifty nine thousand. So they've made a big dent. According to the the governor's uh, update yesterday, there were 298,000 people still without power. And a good chunk of that, I think 48 of that was, 48,000 of um, was versant. And then as of yesterday, when they made that update as well, the DOT, there were down from 100 state roads closed. Uh, there were 64 or 5 with 23 yeah. bridges. So certainly, I mean, <laughs> this thing screwed so much up. Oh, this it did. storm. It did. But um, I feel bad because there was a big chunk of people that got their power back for like 10 minutes yesterday. And then a transformer blew and caught fire and everything was out again. Oh, Can you Lord. imagine being so happy after days of getting your power back on? And then you look outside, the thing's on fire and you're out again. That has, yeah. that's, been the, the, that's been a thing the last couple of, of hours here for some folks. So that's got to be frustrating. Yeah. Well, and... I mean, I'm one of the lucky ones. I have a generator and I've been, I've been moving right along the last couple of days. Um, and it, it's naturally, I'm, I'm sure the people beyond me are also in the dark. There's no question about that, but it's, you know how I tell you all the time where you can see the snow plow turn around and head back in town. Yeah. From that point, no joke, there is lights all the way into Hampton. Oh <laughs> so it literally feels like winter time where they're more. just like, Oh, okay. We don't, we don't matter out here. But then, you get in town and you start to see there's sporadic neighborhoods that don't have electricity. Like there's this little spot on Mayo Road in Hamden. They're out of power all along Mayo Road. Everyone around them has power. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's bizarre. Yeah. Just this one road is on like a different part of the grid of some some kind or other. And like one road is in the dark while everybody around them is all lit up. It's weird. Yep. That's been that's been the other weird thing is people have been coming home going out. The neighbor across the street has power. Ugh. Why do I not have power? So it's it's one of those things where it's a, an exercise of patience for sure. It's a, a if you can take some breaths, and I know it's easier said than done, especially when you wake up and your house is cold and you still don't have any lights and mm-hmm. it sucks. But uh, the, the governor had said she'd mentioned you know there's there's so much damage that it's going to be some days and uh, now we have people from like kentucky and down south oh they're all over there are more over linemen in maine right now than there were in ice storm 98 wow there are more there are like almost 200 more crews out right now than there were for that so that's that's the scope of the damage that they're trying to get ahead of now to be fair they're cranking it you know what i mean mm-hmm. like like i said just mm-hmm. on versant's website this morning it's down fifty thousand in the last two days from the 90,000 that it was up to at first, you know, so there's, there's a long way to go, but they're, they are making progress. It's easy to point your fingers and and blame, but you know, we can only do what we can do except wait. So, and they can't get to a lot of these places because of the roads and those had to be fixed first, unfortunately. So uh, again, if you're without power and you're dealing with this, I mean, I, I understand we do have a list of warming shelters up online right now. We've got some some other resources. So 211, that is your friend today. Yeah. If you need a place to, to go and, and wash up and charge up. Aerosmith is your friend right now, too. Let's crank up the classic rock on I-95. Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station, I-95. So your your friend Richie was saying all the power trucks are leaving Audlin Road in Bangor. And Hogan Road. Hogan Road, sorry. And they're all headed to Dysart's. Because when I, I met mom Dysart. for breakfast yesterday at Dysart's and there were like 30 trucks in the lot. There were no cars. <laughs> really? Yeah, but there were like 30 lineman trucks or, you know, line trucks in, yeah. the, in the parking lot yesterday. So they, the, what the, I, I don't blame them. They hit the road, Dysart's, you know, every trucker knows where Dysart is. Anybody that, that lives on the road knows 
where Dice Arts is. So they're going to fuel up, and then they're going to hopefully light up the rest of Maine. Uh, I was asking him if he had power. He's my neighbor from way back in the day, back in Milford. Milford Greenbush got hit really hard, and yeah. they have been without power for a long time. And uh, he's like, "Nope, big tree across the line. Three transformers." Mm. Well, and now Todd Simcox will have the forecast, of course, in in just about in about twenty minutes. Um, he's saying, of course, the wind is kicking back up a little bit, and it's going to be brutally cold. Like there's going to be some wind chills, so it's definitely uh. going to hamper efforts to get the power back on. It's going to slow things down just a little bit, you know, because they have to they have to be safe about what they do. And part of the reason sure. it takes so long is think how much prep work has to be done. It's not like they can just go fix the line. You know, I don't know how many places I've seen in the last couple of days where there's just like a huge, like 40 foot tree laying on the wires across the road. And it's like, obviously they have to remove the tree first and those aren't the same crews. Nope. You know, I've seen separate tree crews like going around Hamden and stuff yeah. that are taking care of that mess to make it safe for the linemen to come in and do their thing. You know, sure like on my road, well. we need a whole pole. So who knows how long that'll take. Jeez. There's just well, there's like I, a top of a telephone pole hanging by the wires on my we, road. Uh, we thank all of them. We thank yeah. the, the road crews that are out there trying to make the roads uh, passable. We thank the, the tree crews who are out there. They've been busy. Oh, yes. Very busy. Uh, and then, of course, we thank the, 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 the linemen and whatnot that um, that have been out there trying to illuminate Maine. So patience, I know that can be difficult. Reach out if you need help. Somebody was like, Mainers are so stubborn they won't reach out. That's true. A lot of the times we just were like, eh, whatever, we can do it. Not in these temperatures. If you need something, please reach out because yeah. there are people who are willing to help and there are services available. So 211-911 if it's an emergency. Be safe if you are using backup heat, please. Uh, and if you need, like, warm food, there are a lot of places that are opening up. Like Hollywood Casinos. I had no idea that they were opening up their buffet area. They've got, you can go in there and get some coffee. You can charge your stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can sit and get warm if you need to. It's just one of the many places opening up. A lot of schools, a lot of town halls, a lot of police departments. Well, and a, so and a lot of, out. like, town centers are opening. You know, your, your, your average downtown area is seeing a lot of improvement in many, many towns around here. Many people are still without power, but you can go to the center of your town, you know, the, and where they're opening these places up. And it's, it's, it's helping. It's helping. Every mm -hmm. little bit helps. And, you know, we'll keep you posted. We have, we have some info about it uh, at i95rocks.com or the app. Let's keep voting. Morning Music Matchup is up there. What is, what is, what is it? It's Boss it's versus a, the Boss, right? It's Boss versus the Boss Christmas edition. Do we want Merry Christmas Baby or Santa Claus is Coming to Town? All right. We got till the end of the hour to decide on I-95. I-95. Jay Stu and Corey on Bangor's classic rock station. Here we are watching the sun come up here on uh, the uh, post-storm morning show excitement thing where it's all We're happening. We're back on the air today. That's kind exciting. Of. Kind of. I mean, some people people have been saying as they've been voting that it's been good to hear our voices. So there are at least a handful of them that can, oh, which yeah. is good. I can't, uh, I can't get the station in down in my office, uh, but that <laughs> isn't atypical right now. There's a lot of radio yeah. stations that are running at low power. We were talking yesterday about how... Channel 2 may have to occasionally cycle off the air for 30 minutes while they refill their generator at their tower site and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, everybody feeling the pinch right now as far as uh, that sort of thing goes. It's, it's, and you mentioned it's you, ta you called your oil company yesterday. And, and <laughs> the, that's a situation where, you know, some people are, are thinking to themselves, we're low on oil. We got to. Uh, no, I'm trying to whatever. get propane. Yeah, I know uh, you're getting propane. Exactly. Yeah, I, I want propane to top off my tank for my generator. And I knew when I called that, you know, it was, I don't expect miracles. You know what I mean? Sure. And that poor woman, you could tell, was just feeling, you know, she had the sound of her in her voice of like, I have, you're like the 927th person I've talked to today that I basically yeah. have to say, I have no idea <laughs> is yeah. really what it comes down to. And that's and not remember, their fault either. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody right now, everybody is frustrated. Yeah. Um, everybody's frustrated either that they don't have power, that they, you know, for, there's a million reasons to be frustrated, but you can always choose to be kind to the people who you're dealing with. And that's going to make this thing suck way less yeah. if people are, are mindful of that um, and, and, and do what they can to help. I've seen a lot of posts on social media um, 
And I'm just, again, I can't say enough that I'm so proud to live in Maine because the majority of Mainers, we, we've known this, we've, we've lived through the ice storm of 98, we lived through the flood of 87, we've lived through some of these situations. And it's kind of been uh, almost an unspoken rule that if you have it and you can help, you do. Uh, and that's just the way we kind of are up here. And uh, just reading just the examples of people who are going out of their way to be helpful, to check on their neighbors, the very least thing you can do, the is to check on your neighbors. There are a lot of elderly folks out there who either don't have a generator or don't have the, the means to even start one. So going and checking physically on them. Are you okay? How's your house? What's going on? Because they may not know or think to reach out. Uh, th- those are the stories that I really, really love. Um, the, the ones about like the people being a jackass, I could do without. But that certainly- That's getting old. Like I, I am so tired of going on Reddit and hearing people complain about being without power we're all without power you know i'm a fortunate one that has a generator for now you know and then i'm going to be like everybody else if the propane runs out of my tank and and that's 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 part that's my that's my deal when all said and done even if you have a generator you know this storm's going to set me back probably like a grand by the time i get the friggin' tank filled back up and stuff like that Mm so there's 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 a rub all the way around but the people who are acting like they're the only ones on earth without power now i understand you're frustrated but you know it it, everybody is right there with you so you know maybe just try yeah take a deep breath and and suffer with people as opposed to suffering over them you know if you can help it (laughs) that's a good good way to put it absolutely And we say, again, thank you to the linemen, to the Rose Crews, the the folks like that that are out there helping. We appreciate that. And if you're being a good neighbor, thank you. Yeah. Uh, When we come back, we will have Todd Simcox forecast uh, because that's important news right now because that will have an impact Mm -hmm. on everything that's going on. And then we'll have our winner of the morning music matchup. Stay right here. Acadia Federal Credit Union. Tom Petty. I would imagine. As the sun rises.